But before you make a comment, make a comment about this. Who married your big, back, wild ass mama? Who got down on their knee to even propose to your mama? All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. Sing it out. Sing it out. Sing it out. Oh my God. I know I look a mess. <laughs> Y'all, I know I look a mess, but uh, while Z at school, I've just been in here straining up, and I ain't shut up my room, as y'all can see, but I've just been in here straining up and doing some last-minute stuff because y'all know we're going to Chicago. I can't wait to go to Chicago, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I miss Chicago, and I miss Chicago food, so I can't wait. Y'all know we go to Chicago next Friday. Today is Thursday, so we uh, fly out for Chicago the 22nd, and Z birthday party is Saturday the 23rd, and then we're gonna stay and kick it Sunday, then we're gonna come home Monday so she could go to school Tuesday and throughout the rest of the week. I know y'all saw that thumbnail that title you all like, Xavier! I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, yes, it is. First of all, look how much paperwork this is, y'all. Like, look how much paperwork this is, y'all. I got my divorce papers. Y'all don't matter that little stain. Me and Z was eating some chicken wings with hot sauce. And she was like, oh, what's these papers? I said, that's my, them my divorce papers, boo. Y'all, Z talking about some what? I said, what? She like... Don't do that. I swear to God, y'all. Z gonna say, don't do that. <laughs> First of all, you seven years old. Stay in your place. Because when you get up to age, I ain't gonna be able to tell you who and who you cannot do what you want to do. Okay? All right. All right. But yes, y'all got the pack in the mail. Okay? I'm ready to sign them papers. Paper. <laughs> y'all, like, I got it. Y'all can tell how nervous I am. Like, I'm so mad Zeke got a stain on my paper, but I'm so nervous. It's like, I know this is what I want to do, and I know I want to move forward with my life, and I know I want to be at peace. Like, and what I mean by that is, like, I want to be, I don't want to be, it just feel like I'm still, I'm attached to someone. I'm with someone still. Like, it still feel like that even though I'm separated. It's just like I'm whole legally married out here. So, it's time for me to officially be like, like a part. You know what I'm saying? Like, not them big old strings attached. We already got kids, so that's a string attachment. But not that. Let's cut some of these strings up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, y'all. So... I got my little papers. Y'all, this package is so big, right? Look at all this, like, how many papers? Like, 75 pages. Like, let's see. I ain't know. I ain't, when I got married, it was one little paper like this I had to sign. Why I got all these papers just to get a divorce? I'm telling y'all, it's cheaper to keep them. <laughs> Look, it's cheaper to keep them. Okay. Did I lie? Did I lie? But no, y'all, so, yeah, this, like, my whole little package. It just basically, so, I had to get the divorce with minor package. Now, the divorce without um, children is, the package ain't this big. But the divorce with children, the package is this big, I guess, because, you know, children is involved. So, but I ain't even gonna lie, the children part is actually two pages because it's just asking, like, um, who's got custody of the children? Is it joint custody of the children? Just like that. And then the other papers with the children, I don't have to fill out because all I got to do is check off the, check off the plates where it says joint custody. So we ain't fighting over no kids. I want my kids. He want his kids, period. Mom and dad, mama bear, daddy bear. We never played about, we never played about Pi Z. Okay. So joint custody. So I ain't got to struggle on that. And y'all, everything else is just like simple. You want a divorce? Yup. Y'all got assets? Nope. I'm glad we ain't, uh, well, I'm not, I'm glad, but like in this situation, I'm glad that we didn't build the house and all that because then it would have been more. You get what I'm saying? So by us not having no assets, like we don't own business together. We don't own a house together. You know what I'm saying? Because that'll be more because like who going to take the house? 
Who gonna take the cars? Who gonna take the business? Do we? Is we gonna split? You know what I'm saying? So this gonna be an easy breeze for me, baby. Cause we ain't got no assets. The children is jointly custody. Um, and yeah, we don't. It's just a lot of signing and reading, signing and reading, acknowledgement of service. I am the respondent in this case. Yep, sign and read. Y'all, it's basically sign and read. That's it. <laughs> But y'all, I got my papers. Oh my God. Y'all. See, see, y'all, it say stuff like health and dental vision, um, insurance for children. So our kids got insurance. So this space is for like, you know, if we coming out of pocket for our kids' expenses and stuff. So it's like who coming out of pocket? Like, oh, we don't gotta deal with this part because, you know, our kids got their little health insurance and stuff like that. So and we jointly, so whatever the kids need, we're going to always be there together. And we're going to do it together like we're doing now. He know I don't play about Ponzi, and I know he don't play about him. So let's pray it stays that way. Because y'all know how some people like to get bitter. No shade, no tea. Not saying people going to be getting bitter, but y'all know stuff be going as breeze when people separate. And stuff be going good until somebody start. And it could be me. I'm not talking about like the other party. It could be me. You know what I'm saying? How people get bitter and... But I doubt it be me, okay? <laughs> but you know, yeah, y'all. So, <sighs> ready to send them papers. <laughs> papers. Y'all, this package is so big. I'm trying to uh, skim through it and see what else I can tell y'all. It got stuff in here for like people who are divorcing because of domestic violence and stuff too. Because I was actually reading how if people let leaving their husband or if the husband leaving their wife for domestic violence. And I like that. You know what I'm saying? Because in those type of cases, I feel like they it's mostly overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like domestic violence and stuff is like really, really overlooked. And I think it's overlooked because people plays a big part in domestic violence. Like, your boyfriend or girlfriend beat you up. You go, you you call the police, you go to court, and you don't show up. So what was your point of calling the police? You know what I'm saying? You don't show up. Or you get a, your, your boyfriend or girlfriend beat you up and stalking you. You get a restraining order. Then a couple months later, you, you go back and cancel the restraining order. That's why the people ain't taking it serious because we are not taking it serious. Like, not me personally, but, like, I'm speaking on everybody as a whole. We are not taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? People be on social media, oh, my boyfriend and girlfriend beat me up, then you go right back. We are not taking you serious, so y'all can't expect the the courts and the police to take you serious or whatnot. But I'm just rambling about, like, I, I'm happy that this is in here. And I really read the whole domestic area in a restraint in a restraining order part, and y'all, I'm like, okay, I like this little section, even though I ain't going to be filling this out. But I like this little section that, you know, they putting a stamp on it. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, y'all, I got my papers. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Like, I ain't going to sit here like that. I had it for two days, and I, and I ain't feel it out yet. It, 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 it is not that I don't want to. It's just like, damn, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, within one year, and I know to answer y'all, future questions are already like y'all didn't try everything y'all can try everything like no y'all my man is made up like i know y'all love us i love y'all too i loved it us too you know i loved him too but i love me too i know um a couple months ago when we first separated i went on like this big rant and stuff and i was talking about like a lot of stuff that was going on but i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i didn't even give y'all everything that was going on and I really, really, really would appreciate y'all if y'all just let me move on with this and which I'm gonna do anyway. But I know y'all know I like to read the comments and stuff. I don't wanna hear Xavier work it out. Xavier, you stupid, Xavier. Y'all just why did why did y'all get married? I don't wanna hear none of that. I I just really would appreciate and I'm only saying this because I really don't care what people think. I'm gonna do what I wanna do anyway, because this is my life. But I will I be in the comments and I'll be trying to interact with y'all. So I would really appreciate some healthy comments some supportive comments because y'all this is really what i want to do like back me up on this like y'all don't know everything so y'all can't say xavier work it out or y'all don't even know what i'm working out you get what i'm saying like support people i really wish y'all 
I'm speaking gently from my heart, y'all. Like, especially for all the messy motherfuckers. Y'all just take a minute out y'all toxic ass. I know y'all just be coming and trying to get my attention, trying to be like, off subject. Let me tell y'all this. So this man was study comment on my Instagram post and saying some crazy things about crazy things about me and my kids. So I inboxed him. I was like, and it was a fake page, but he was saying some crazy stuff like he actually knew me. You get what I'm saying? So that was scary. So I was like, I don't know who you is. I, I DM'd that page. I was like, I don't know who you is, but you're under my post almost every day. Everything I comment, saying some outrageous stuff. You saying stuff about my kids. I'm I'm going to block you, but I really appreciate, because you know they can make other pages, but I really appreciate if you stop saying those hurtful things. I'm human. Too. Y'all, why does motherfucker Plato say, oh my God, Zayde, I love you. You really, um, you really just responded to me. Say what? Bro, you just literally said my daughter's going to grow up to be a slut like her mama. And I just DM'd you about it. You tell me, so, oh my God, Zayde, I love you. Thank you for, that's what I be saying. Like you, you cannot take the internet serious. And I put that on my kids. That's a real true life story. You cannot, the internet cannot be real. Like, it cannot be real. But back on subject, yeah, I know I can do what I want to do. And I know, like, I don't care what people say. But y'all got to understand. Y'all can't say, Xavier, work it out. Zay, that's your hustle. Y'all just, y'all don't know what I'm working out. Y'all don't even know what I'm working out. I could be over there again. For example, I could be, be getting abused and beat up. And I didn't tell y'all, but I'm letting y'all know that I'm leaving a relationship. Y'all work it out, work it out. You want me to work out over there again, over there, getting stomped out? Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, stop telling people, support people of what they want to do. Stop telling people, go work it out. That's your husband. You got kids by that man. Y'all, okay, but that man is stomping my head in. No shade, no tea. Not me personally. Y'all know I got to keep saying that for the stupid motherfuckers who's going to edit this video, chop it up, and make it seem like I said Big Homie Block stomp me in my head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, not me personally, but I'm just giving y'all an example of like, stop telling people to work stuff out. And y'all don't even know what you're telling them to go work out. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, I just want y'all to really, really support me. It's a bittersweet feeling. Uh, I'm nervous. Or whatever. <laughs> but I'm only nervous because, like, damn, like I said, this is my life now. Like, don't get me wrong, y'all. I want, and I'm going to stay preaching this. Even for my future reference. I see this for me. I see a husband for me. I see I see a beautiful family for me. And y'all know who I really, really, really love her family. And that is Sierra. Like, knowing how she was with Future and it was a little bit toxic. But then she got with Russell. And not saying that her and Russell, every relationship go through things. But I love... You could just tell Sierra is in a better, man, how she popping out them kids. Okay. Sierra is good. I don't, all relationships go through stuff, but Sierra is good. Her and Russell popping out babies. Now that, they happy. Okay. I need the sauce. <laughs> Cause I see it for me. I don't care. I don't, this, this might've failed, but that don't mean it's the end of Xavier love life that don't mean it's the end for my um future relationship that don't mean it's the end for me to ever get married again i will get married again i i i want that you get what i'm saying and i i've been preaching that and i'm gonna stay preaching that i want to be a wife like i want to be a beautiful wife a beautiful bride to an amazing man and i want it to last forever and i want to do big things you know what i'm saying and i just no shade no tea i don't want to be with nobody that's not trying to grow up, move forward, make big money, build houses, travel the world, take care of our kids. I don't want nobody that's childish and we argue about the littlest things. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to get into too much detail, but I'm just trying to tell y'all, support me. Stop telling people to work stuff out if y'all don't even know what you're telling them to work out. And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to sign them papers. Papers. <laughs> Y'all, I look crazy. I had got up to Z to school. 
Um, I y'all see I didn't do nothing to my hair, but my hair is still good. Lace is laid or whatever. Wash my face, brush my teeth. Oh, I just wanted to hop on here while well, I had the strength, you know, to tell y'all, update y'all. On what's going on. Y'all know I like to keep y'all in the loop. Y'all know I stay giving the internet my tea. So, never care. <laughs> but, y'all, look at Papa little bitty cute thing he left over here. And I got it sitting right on my nightstand. So, when he come over here, he just come and grab anything that he want to grab. But, yes, y'all. <laughs> I thought y'all like Xavier. You just been rambling, rambling, rambling. I understand y'all, but... I got my papers, y'all. Like, okay, well, let me tell y'all this. So, once I fill out all this paperwork, I talk to my person. Uh, I gotta fill out all this paperwork, then I gotta drop it off at the courts. I'm gonna have to pay two fifty just to file, which is good, <laughs> cause I paid seventy k to get married, baby. I should sue. I need half of my money back. Cause 70k is crazy. But I'll take the I'll pay 250 <laughs> to get up on up out of here, okay? But yeah, so y'all, I gotta fill all this out, take it to the court, pay my little 250 fee. Um, and then they gonna file it. Then they gonna serve him, I guess. Um they gonna serve him. And then I guess he gotta do his little paperwork or whatever. And then we got to go to court. And then that's it. That's it. I ain't going to lie. He has been saying, wait, wait, wait. I'm done waiting. I've been waiting. Y'all don't, y'all don't understand. But I'm waiting on. We're supposed to be in a relationship anyway. No shade, no tea. Y'all know I'm as the motherfucking realest as they come. What am I waiting on? Well, we supposed to be in a motherfucking relationship, happily married, anyway. And I, ooh. What am I waiting on? Y'all see how niggas, I'm sorry, excuse my language. And then that's what I be saying, that's what be pissing me off. What am I waiting on? I'm, 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 I'm done waiting, y'all. What am I waiting on? I've been waiting this whole time for you to grow up. I've been waiting this whole time for you to get your together. I've been waiting on this whole time. I've been, I've been on the back end. For months, for 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 years, since for, since I've been pregnant with Pa, I've I've been on the back end. I've been I've been waiting. I've been putting everything, all of me, to the side. You know what I'm saying? Now it's it's me. I'm not waiting. I'm doing exactly. I told y'all this from the beginning. I'm doing exactly what Xavier wants to do. I'm turning 29, and literally one more month literally my birthday today the 14th my birthday is april 13th i'm turning 29 literally in one more month i'm not waiting on i'm not waiting on what i'm waiting on i've been waiting you know what i'm saying i've been waiting what i what, what am i waiting on not wait you need to wait what, what am i waiting on you know what i'm saying so no shade no tea. Don't don't make no blog pages. Don't be on. Don't say Xavier over there starting. No, I'm giving y'all the real. That that's my guy, big homie. That's my that's my homie. We cool. That's my guy. But I'm giving y'all the real. I ain't no I ain't no here to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not waiting on. I'm not. I'm just letting y'all know what was said. Clock it. I'm not waiting on Xavier, not waiting on nothing. I'm tired of waiting on everybody. Even besides my relationship, other people. Family members and friends. Everybody want to wait. I'm not waiting on nobody. Y'all see, I've been inviting everybody to that. Y'all see, I went to the gun range by myself. I've been inviting everybody to come to the gun range with me. Everybody want to play around. Everybody, and this is just a prime example. No shade, no tea. I want mad, and I know everybody got their own life going on. My point is, I'm not waiting on nobody. I, I packed my stuff, and I went to that mug gun range on my own. That's why y'all should. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm in, I'm out here trying to get it done, baby. You know, I got a different mindset. I'm on new things. I'm glowing. I'm growing. I'm flourishing. I'm that girl. You know what I'm saying? I got my um, Louis Vuitton shades on. Quit playing. Quit playing with me. <laughs> yeah, get up. Make my bed. Um, 
finish straightening it up before Z got out of school. It's already about to be two. And yeah. Yeah, that's it. Y'all know I just came up on here to give y'all my tea. I'm always running my mouth about something. But my girls is on here. So, I'm keeping my girls in the loop. Not the messy, Betsy people. I'm keeping my real supporters and my real girls in the group. Period. They know who they are. I know who they are. So, I know my girls 100% support me. And... Y'all, I don't be reading them uh, messy comments. Well, I be reading them, but I don't be responding like to the messy comments and stuff no more. But I definitely be reading them. And y'all know what I do. I know y'all be seeing some of them comments messy. I be blocking and deleting. Blocking and deleting. Blocking and deleting. Go play with your mama, not with me, okay? Because y'all be having all that stuff to say. And your mama in that same, in that same boat. Your mama ain't even near this boat. Yo, ain't nobody even got on, on their knee to marry your big, back, wide, fat-ass mama. But y'all get up on here and try to tell the next the next um woman what to do. Like who married your mama? Y'all trying to get on here and talk about somebody who married your big ass mama? Hmm? Who married your crackhead ass mama? Hmm? Is your mom? Comment down below if your mama married. Not my, not my home girls, not my supporters. I'm talking about the messy, messy people. The people that come over here and talk sh daily. Because y'all know they're going to be under here. But before you make a comment, make a comment about this. Who married your big, back, wet ass mama? Who got down on their knee to even propose to your mama? Mm -hmm. Let's take it back. Who got down on their knee? To propose to your grandma. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. Um, thank y'all for watching. That's all I have for this video. I'm ready to sign them papers. Yes. Period. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below y'all thoughts. And I'm just talking to my real supporters. Pause them thoughts, please. On that post notification bell so you know when Xavier is on your screen. Y'all, if y'all don't know, I started me a reaction channel where I be, where I'm be at reacting to either mu new music, crazy videos, or whatever. I just reacted to uh, Miss Netta and Char's BBL and Lipo, y'all. It was funny, y'all. Make sure y'all go over there and check that out. And I'm out, y'all.